Lesson 13, Weaving. Well, I am unable to currently think of a uh, knit along for slip, but when I do, I will release it. We're going to move on to the weaving pattern. Um, the example in the book is 435, so we're going to go step, cancel, 435, step, step. What are the instructions? Thread main yarn, cast on, knit, program. And then we go thread the weaving yarn into the left tension unit. Adjust the tension disc as shown to the thickness of the weaving yarn. So the thicker the yarn, you go towards the minus sign. Make sure you're on the other side of the turn mark and needles are selected. Set the weaving pattern levers. Hold the end of the weaving yarn and now we are going to use the little catches here. And you move your weaving yarn every row to the opposite side of the carriage so that the carriage picks it up and carries it over. You do not push any patterning buttons at all and you just keep switching it over. So I will go into my sport weight yarn and find a good weaving yarn to show this technique. Okay our pattern is loaded. Step, step, step. We're now going to the other side of the turn mark. KC1. We're going to come forward, okay, no buttons being pushed, we're going to grab our yarn, just hold on to it for the first row, okay, so it gets caught in here. We then take it out, keep moving the carriage over. Catch it. Welcome to weaving. Move it over. Catch it. it over. Catch it. Move it over. Is there a weaving connection for the brother? No. But there is for the singer. So if you want to do weaving, then try Singer. I mean, like, if you want to do weaving hardcore. I have only one practical application for weaving, and that's I made myself a purse. So if you want to make a really, really strong fabric with almost no give, you can make yourself purses, wallets, um, shopping bags. Coats are a big one. But remember, there's no give. So you will have to do a tension swatch and work really hard at making sure that you do the entire project carefully without snagging yarn or losing stitches.
This is one of the few uses of sport weight. All right, that is a really good sample. I'm going to cut my sport weight, put it to the side. Switch to normal. And then lift this for you guys. That is weaving. And as far as I'm concerned, that is the side you want to show people. Now let's let you see what the uh, knit side looks like. Whoops. Eh, missed a step. One sec. Okay, try this again. Okay, as you can see, it curls really bad, but that is what the knit side looks like. Not remotely as beautiful as this side. All right, so uh, practical application of this one, make yourself a panel and make yourself a bag, like a shopping bag. It would be washable and multi-use and unique. Okay, this is the first time that we get to do a wool woven pull-up stitch. Special method used for weaving patterns. The knit stitch world pattern is 458, 460, or 462 by the pull-up method. This, this example shows how, how to knit stitch world pattern 460 by pull up method. So basically you are pulling up all of the long ladders or floats onto a middle stitch. Knit until this number indicated at the right side of the diagram in stitch world appears in the display. Using your transfer tool pick up the long weaving yarns which lie across the front of the stitches and place them into the needle shown as illustrated above. Now bring these needles forward to E position and continue knitting. Okay, so why don't we do that then? Let's put in 460. So step, cancel, 460, step, Okay. Na, 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 na. Okay. Let's see what it looks like in Stitch World. Okay, so four sixty on its own looks like this one. To me, that looks a little messy. And there's no other instructions in Stitch World. Hang on. I think there is. Diagrams. Okay. And there's nothing here for 460. Oh, look at that. See? It does have some more for 460. So for 460, it's checkerboard. So we're going to pull up to the middle stitch. Okay. I'll load some more yarn and we'll keep going with this sport weight. After a short break. If I understand this correctly. Okay, see one. Come across. I'm going to put my transfer over. And 
keep going till something changes in the meme. So now the Mimo changed. So take that center, bring out to E, right? Okay. Now continue. sure if I'm doing this right or not. It said three. Okay, I'm just going to do a couple more rows. Looks pretty cool. So let's just continue until we hear a beep. <laughs> and there's the beep. All right. So now we're back to the beginning. Okay, so that was my first ever pull up pattern. Makes a lot more sense now. I get the idea behind it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to run um, the carriage across and stock a net, even though it says KC1. And I want you to watch the Mimo button. Right now it says 2. See, now it changed. So, before I actually knit this next row, I'm supposed to do the pull-up part. And then we continue. And then... Now I do the pull-up part. There you go. So that is how the pull-up is set up with the Mimos and stuff. And so if you make your own pattern, you have a better idea as to uh, to put in the different Mimo um, readings and, and headings and stuff. So a lot of this is new to me, but it's making a lot more sense now. On our 
next section of this video, we're going to do the wrap around um, part of weaving. Okay, so wrap around is done on pattern 463. So we will go 463 step, step. When the needles are selected, bring three selected needles which are next to each other forward from D to E position. Wind the weaving yarn around the stem of the E position needles and operate the K carriage until the needles are selected again. Bring the three selecting needles which are next to each other forward to E position and wind the weaving yarn around the stem of the E position needles and operate the cake carriage until the ne needles are selected again. Repeat steps one through three. All right. So I am looking at pattern four, six, three in stitch world. You'll see that there are three and then three, three, three. And so we're supposed to wrap around those ones in, in the sample. Okay. So we're going to run this through and see what we get. So back to the beginning. We are engaged. All right, according to the book, I'm going to move my kit. Okay, it said to wrap around the ones that are um, here. So we go what direction though? So row one. We would go this way. Okay. I need to hold this down here. So, so T E. That's okay. These ones, this one, and this one. Okay. Let's see what happens. All right. I'm going to take it out again. I'm thinking I'm supposed to cut my yarn each time. Seems a little weird. Okay. So wraps around the ones that I just put in E. Wraps around. Around, 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 around. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do there, but I'll just do this to it. Okay. I'm going to hang on to my weaving yarn again.
just seems a little odd that it would have two in there. I have to be doing something wrong. Let me reread this. Yeah, I think I did that backwards. It's supposed to go the same direction as the carriage, not the opposite direction of the carriage. So let's do it again. So the ones that are three come forward. Okay, and then just leave it. I think that looks a little bit better. Okay. So the one that's three, three, and three over. So yeah, the idea, I guess, of course things are tangling. That makes a lot more sense to do it um, ahead. Okay. And then these ones. So instead of cutting the yarn, it, I was just going the wrong direction. So it just goes over. and then stop and let it grab it okay and it'll continue the knitting okay doing that again basically you are winding the weaving yarn onto the three instead of letting the carriage do it itself. I think that makes sense. And then you just hold on to it. And there you go. There's the wraparound weaving. Neat. In the next episode, we will do thread lace.